Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, graphs, and other things Excel. All right, uh, today I uh, wanted to answer a post that I found on the MrExcel.com forums, which are great forums to go to. Uh, learned a lot there and uh, wanted to give back. So this is a chart that someone had posted saying they'd like to replicate this chart using what's called, I guess, a Leichhardt scale. So it's got different things that are all here in German, but uh, essentially it's, it's rating two different people on knowledge, methodology, things like that, uh, on a scale of one to five. So the problem with this is most people try and do this in a line chart uh, and um, line charts are usually categories that are horizontal with the lines going left to right. Uh, these lines are going up and down, so you'd want to probably use a scatter chart for this. However, you end up having problems trying to match up these categories because XY uh, charts don't necessarily have categories, uh, and so it makes it a bit difficult. So, uh, one way I showed how to do this on my blog post oh, about a year ago was actually using a uh, line chart with vertical uh, categories and then using the camera tool to take a picture of it and rotate it so it actually mocked it up this way so but now I'm actually going to show you how to do this in a full Excel chart so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here so um, this is how I laid out the data and what you see here is we've got um, right here we've got the person data uh, these are their different Likert, Likert scores of say uh, that look very similar to the chart that you saw uh, see to the right over here um, and what we're going to do is we're going to plot these as an XY and then um, along with that I've also got these categories that we're going to use in a bar chart type format we're going to make a combined chart and show you how to do all of that together so uh, what I would first do is uh, I would highlight my um, XY categories right here so what you would want to do is highlight from C1 down to E13. These are going to be our XY um, values. And you want to go up to your insert ribbon. We want to do a scatter chart. And we want to do a scatter with straight lines and markers. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, uh, let me make this a little bit smaller so that we can kind of see it on the screen together with the other chart as well. So it uh, doesn't quite look like what I'm wanting, um, but that's okay because we're going to just use this as the basis for our chart going forward. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the legend by clicking on it and deleting it. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to edit these series because I really don't want the way Excel automatically thinks you want the data. Um, so click anywhere in your chart, go up to your design ribbon, then there in the data group is a select data button pull that up. Let's bring that over here a little bit. Um, what I want to do with this is I want to edit persons one's data by clicking on edit and I want to change the X values to kind of switch these. So I want D to be the X values because we're going to make this in a vertical fashion and I want um, I think I did that wrong. Let me just fix that one there. Um, so we want the uh, um, D to be our X values, and we want Y to be um, our values that are in C3 through C13. So you can already see the lines been drawn differently, uh, and we click on OK. Let's edit person 2 and do the same thing. We want um, our values for Y, or for the X values, to be uh, right here in E, and we want the Y values to be right here in C. Okay, let's click on OK and then click on OK again. All right, so uh, uh, let me shrink this up just a little bit more so that you can see how these look in comparison to the original chart. Uh, you can see the chart below looks very similar. Our data is going up and down. It's got the peaks and valleys in the same areas. Uh, we can modify these formats by doing Control-1 after clicking the series. Go to Marker Options. Let's do built-in. I think they had circles is what they wanted. Uh, and they wanted a line color of a solid line that's just one shade off the other one. So let's go like this light blue here. And um, then let's go to our marker fill and do a solid fill of that same color. Which I think was 
is that one. And we want to do our marker line color, the solid line there as well. Because that one. So see how that looks. Okay. So um, looks like I just got the color wrong on one of those lines. Let's go fix the line color uh, to do the second one down. There we go. So all of that matches. Um, all right. And then these ones, we're just going to change the markers on this one by hitting Control 1. After selecting the series, do marker options built in. Change that to a circle and click close. Okay, so we've got very similar uh, looking chart right now. Now what we want to do is uh, we need to add our um, other categories here that you see on the Likert scales uh, of what is being rated. So let's go ahead and do that. What you want to do is you want to come over to your data. You want to select your first category and these bar values that I've got here. Um, I've got five uh, so it'll make sure it goes all the way across the entire chart. I'm going to hit Control C and copy this range. Then you want to select your chart, go up to your Paste Special uh, in the Home ribbon. Click on Paste Special. It brings up this little dialog box here, and we just click on OK. And it's now added an XY series along five uh, for our categories. But uh, we actually want to make this a bar chart. So let's go ahead and select that line, go up to our Insert ribbon, and instead of doing a scatter uh, plot, which is right now, we want to do a bar chart and just do a 2D clustered bar chart. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot closer right now. Um, and let me uh, make this a little bigger uh, so you can see this. What we want to do is we want to add our categories. Our categories are showing up over here on the right, but since we haven't included the secondary vertical axis yet, they're not showing up. So let's go ahead and do that. Select your chart, go up to your layout ribbon, Go to axes, and then we want to do our secondary vertical axis. We want to show the default axis. And look at that. There's our categories right now. Now, we've got our categories on the right, whereas the graph we're trying to re represent here uh, is down on, is over on the left. Uh, so we want to move these over. Um, and so in order to do that, what you want to do is the secondary horizontal axis. Click on it, and then right click on it, do format axis. And what we want to do is we want to get this out of the way so you can see it. Uh, we want to do values in reverse order. Then our categories end up showing over here on the left. Uh, however, they're going in a different order than I want. So what we want to do is we want to um, uh, make sure that these values are in reverse order as well. So let's click on that axis, which is our secondary vertical axis, and do categories in reverse order there as well. So now we have uh, uh, the same order that you saw in the original chart. Okay. Oh, let's format one other thing unless we want to take out these tick marks. Uh, so on the secondary horizontal uh, vertical axis, go to major tick marks and do none. And uh, we're good to go there. So, All right. Well, uh, we've got little bars here which we want to get rid of. We could hide the color on these. We could also just change the value of the secondary uh, horizontal axis by right clicking on it, doing format axis, and when our axis dialog box comes up we want to change the maximum to 5. And uh, they are now go going from the left to 5, uh, and so they are showing up on our actual visible chart area. And let's go ahead and hit close on that one. Now uh, our points aren't lining up exactly with the way we want, so what we want to do is we want to uh, fix our primary vertical axis by clicking on it, right click and then do format axis. We want to change our minimum from 0 to 1, which is how the uh, uh, which is going to be our first data point, and then there are 11 total of them. So let's make 11. And you'll notice that it stretches out. Click on close here for that one. Uh, it stretches them out and so uh, they, they will match each one of these lines but our secondary vertical axis doesn't match those, so we want to format that axis as well. And let's go to uh, position on axis to on tick marks. Click on close. Okay, so each one of these categories is now lining up with the lines, so do the dots from our scatter chart. Uh, let's get rid of this leftmost axis just by clicking on it and hit your delete key doesn't change our data which is fine. We can uh, this bottom primary axis and secondary 
horizontal axis. We can't get rid of this one because it'll actually modify our data and we'll see those bars again. So what we want to do is right click on it, do format axis, and we want to um, get rid of any tick marks and do none, and we want to get rid of any access labels, say none, and then uh, line color, we want to do no line. Let's click on close and see how it looks. Getting pretty close. All we need to do now is add some grid lines in here and then fix this primary horizontal axis. Uh, so what we want to do is select the chart, go to your layout ribbon, go to grid lines and the access grouping. We want to do primary vertical grid lines and we want to do the major ones. There's our cross stitching, and then we want to right click on this primary axis at the, at the horizontal one and hit format axis, change it from zero because the sample showed it as one, and we'll just do five to make sure it doesn't change that as well. Uh, and then let's click on close, and uh, there you have it. Let me uh, copy this one over so that you can see them side by side. Um, so uh, what we have, we've been able to now replicate the graph that you saw from before, uh, and it is, let's bring this to the front so that you can see it, there we go. Okay, so our original graph, uh, that was our sample, uh, went from 1 to 5, which we have that here on the bottom. We've got our categories in the same order, they're matching the lines, and our data points are uh, matching each one of those. Uh, specific points. So it's a way to get categories to show up on the vertical axis uh, with an actual XY scatter line so uh, that you can do that. So hopefully this was helpful uh, and so see if you can replicate that. I'll have a sample on my blog so you can see exactly how I did that as well as a tutorial. Once again this is Steve True at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com Please sign up for our blog and also for our YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest posts and charting techniques. Thank you.